Tenor, what's happening? A lot. A lot. A lot is happening. I um, was very interested in Jess. I regret taking Kat on my one-on-one. -on -one. I'm mad at myself for making the wrong decision because I definitely did. Came in here with intentions of getting to know Jess. I don't know where Blake and Jess stand as of right now. Davi and I went on a date and we had a great date, but I definitely should have explored Jess probably earlier. Hi, Hi. Jess. How's your night going? I definitely want to get to know her a little bit more. To be honest, I'm not sure where I stand right now, so we'll see what happens tonight. So I hate to kind of beat a dead horse, but I just honestly wanted to have one more conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I realized throughout last week that like Kat wasn't my person. And I know what your thoughts are. It's like where it's like, well, you, you pick Kat to go on that one-on-one -on -one, and you didn't pick me. And I could sit here and tell you 100% honest, just like I regret it. So I feel like I completely tarnished our relationship and I don't know you at all. <laughs> but I do know that you're like super kind and it's just something that I need in my life. Well, first of all, thank you for sharing that. And like, yeah. it takes a lot to like feel regret. And like, you were someone I came here for, like probably my, if not yes, my number one. I wish I would have known that. I'm just, I guess I'm confused because are you saying like you're only wanting to pursue me? Or are you like, are you just like trying to figure it out? Like what, I'm just trying to be curious. I'm trying to figure out if there's any person here that I could spend the rest of my life with. And this is like my last kind of like chance of like seeing if there's anything there between us. And like, I don't want to leave paradise not letting you know. I see who you for who you are and I like it a lot. I did not expect today to go like this at all. Coming into this Tanner was my number one. He was someone I wanted to meet. But I don't know how any girl would feel when the guy's like, should have went with you, but I didn't. No, just don't know if there's an emotional connection. I don't know what else I'm to, like, to say. We'll figure it out. I'm trying not to be a closed off person, but I'm already dealing with figuring out where I stand with Blake, and I still don't know how the date went with Jen. I've been realizing that I feel stronger for Blake than I thought I did. I just wonder where his head is gonna be at when he gets back. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. It was good. We just had champagne on the beach and went for a swim. And we did like a tandem kayak and she was in front of me, so it was like. Wait, you guys kayak? Battling, yeah. yeah. You okay? I don't want to move my feet. When Blake came back with Jen and holding hands, like, it was very uncomfortable and awkward. How was your guys' day? It was good? Yeah. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> yeah, I, feel like, I feel like it. I feel tension. Yeah. I feel very lost today. I want to find my person. I want to leave here with someone, but like I don't see how that's gonna happen anymore. This is like I'm sitting here watching everyone experience it. You are so loved on this beach. Can I tell you that? You are. When is something gonna go well for me? Like, just literally one thing. I've just been sitting here watching everyone. <laughs> I just wanted to be in love. I really feel like I'm just watching everyone. Like, so. 